location for 56 College Street. Yeah. Come up, have a seat, and I think that. we all know you're Jeff Nix, so you don't That's need me. to yes. introduce <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Go ahead Thanks. and describe your project. Sure. So um, this is that old uh, former headquarters of the New England Culinary Institute. Mm -hmm. And back in 2004, I believe, we renovated the, the, the old house and resurrected the old uh, carriage barn and moved it and put on a new foundation and connected it with this connector wing here, which uh, was where the elevator and the main entrance are. And we have second floor offices up above in that wing there. And at the time, we really would have liked to put a dormer there. And in discussions with the city, um, never got to a hearing, but we discussed with the city, they were in favor of it, as was the state, because this was a historic uh, renovation. Um, the, somebody in the federal office in Washington said no to the dormer, and we were unable to put the dormer on. Did they give you a reason? They just didn't like it. They, they said it wasn't in keeping with the historic character, and we, and Jay Ansel gave them a number of photographs of similar buildings in Montpelier with dormers, <laughs> but it didn't, didn't seem to win them over. Um, beyond that time frame now, so to install a dormer. If, if Basically do it anyway. Right. She said wait it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, your connecting building was acceptable to them. Yes. Oh, everything about the project was acceptable. Just at the time, the one guy in Washington didn't like the dormer idea. Everybody up here did. <laughs> so. Um, and if you look at the floor, if you're in, if you've ever been up there, the, the floor plan just doesn't lay out. We've got a very nice, you know, we've retended the building with Vermont Legal Aid and the National Wildlife Federation. But that second floor, the way it lays out, just doesn't make much sense as a standalone unit. And Necky made it work, but it's just, you know, the ceiling height in, in the on this side of the, I mean, I'll show you a floor plan, but it's like seven feet until your shoulder hits the slope ceiling. <laughs> <coughs> and to just, just give us an extra two and a half feet, make it very comfortable you know, to, to lift the, the roof line up a little bit. Um, so that's what we're hoping to, you folks, allow us to do. So this is the same dormer that you proposed back then? You know, I I don't know if it, Jay, Jay produced this for me, so I, I, I've forgotten what it was. Uh, Jay, was kind of, Jay was kind of leading the charge um, back when we were doing it, 2004, yeah. yeah. Mm. That threw me too, but it said Nikki. What's that? It's identified as Nikki. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> that's right. That, that threw me a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why. That, well, that's still on there from 2004, I guess. Okay. You didn't take that off. <laughs> Quick question. The windows on the dormer are a 1 over 1 as opposed to the 6 over 1 that are on the upper, the second floor of the main building and the ones that were on either side of the, the old garage and on the garage doors. <coughs> Was there any reason for that? Oh, Jay, because these two below are one over one. He, he chose that. To, that's what's, they are currently in the wing. In that yes. Connector yeah. wing. We're happy to do whatever you would like, but that's the, way, that's the reason he did that. Okay, no, I was yeah. just asking. Questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the six over one would be back. I don't think you actually, in the <coughs> photograph, you don't see the one over one mm -hmm. being hidden behind both the bush and the, and the porch. And the porch. Yep. Like it reads more in the drawing, mm -hmm. but I don't think you actually, like going down the street, I yeah. think you, you, you'll see these mm -hmm. in relation to those a lot more. Oh, I see. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think the one over ones I know from. My experience with working with the state and with Washington, mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you have a new addition, they often want the new addition details to be a little different than the historic sections yeah. of the building. Okay. So you don't, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, most people would never really think about this, but the new additions read a little <clears throat> different. You don't want to give what they call a false sense of history. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, to make that look old when it's really not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If that makes any sense. So you're suggesting the six over one? No, or I'm, I'm one over suggesting one. Okay. keeping them the way they are mm -hmm. there. Yep. Yeah, the okay. one over ones, in my opinion. Okay. <clears throat> now the carriage house is original to the original building. 
yes. was was that center section infilled? Was that yes. detached? That was infilled. And the, in the actual started. carriage barn was probably, I think, 10 feet this way. Mm -hmm. We lifted it up, put it on a new foundation, and put it back down. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's a tough call because I know it's a, a new infill, but it follows the it follows the lines of the carriage house so close mm. that it looks like it could have, and that's the nice it, thing about it. Yeah. It looks like it could have always been there. It's a nice, nicely done. I think nicely designed. Sure. We always thought it looked a little odd, but it's just all all roof line, you know, all the way across. It looks. Mm -hmm. We always thought it would better breaking up the roof line, that massive mm. roof there. With the dormer. The With dormer, the dormer yeah. I think, yeah. will actually do yeah. that. Yeah. My, I like the idea of the six over ones too, just because I think that they're more consistent with what we're going to see as mm -hmm. we look at the building. I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. Liz, but okay. my own uh, impression, I'd yeah. like to see six over ones. Just in terms of pure aesthetics, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it looks like it has always been there, and frequently <coughs> carriage houses were attached to older buildings by breezeways, uh, open sheds. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of in the uh, in the nature of the old farmhouse where the barn was attached to mm -hmm. the house with a shed or a garage or a wood shed or or whatever. Right. Um, and again, it was a new addition between the two, but it looks like, I mean, passing down the street and looking at it, it looks like it could have always been there. Right. Because it's yeah. not atypical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, I guess that's a, a, a mixed. Right. Yeah. And, and then again, we could give them the option of doing either which, whichever you think mm -hmm. would look yeah. the well, best. Well, Jay and I batted around the six and the one over one, and Jay mm -hmm. went with the one over one because that was what was below it. So that's how we arrived okay. at this. But. I think that the one over ones follow the Secretary of Interior's standards, mm -hmm. um, which do say you shouldn't give a false, you know, false sense of history with your new additions. Okay. They should be compatible, but you don't want them to look like mm -hmm. they've always been there necessarily. You want them to work and <clears throat> be sympathetic with what's historic. But yeah. So. Um, and actually, if you use a insulated glass with an exterior screen on it, mm -hmm. the darkness of the screen will help if you look at some of the other windows well, that true, have yeah. that, that will mm -hmm. help that blend in uh -huh. so that it's not mm -hmm. going to be as conspicuous as mm -hmm. it would with just glass sitting there reflecting the morning sun, mm -hmm. which hits that that building, yeah. Yeah. morning and okay. late morning. Right. Yeah. The one over ones are probably a little cheaper too. Probably. <laughs> 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 What are the windows? Are they Marvin's or what do you use? Ooh, I, I, that's been, been a while since we, whatever we use on the, the last one, we'll probably use again. Yeah. We'll pick a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a wood window. I'm interested in the sort of rhythm between siding, window, siding, double window, siding, window, mm -hmm. siding, that they're unequal, and whether that is what the intention of the that is. It almost looks like he matched, oh, the, I see. He matched yep. the, the bump out on the second story of the main building. You know, you have a <coughs> single on, the si on either side and then that double in the front. Well, also, oh, just the, was, there's... That. There's a lot more yeah, siding on the far side. left. Oh, okay. And it looks like the space is oh. the space between the two windows yeah. is unequal on the right and left also. Oh, okay. And yeah. whether there is some intentionality that I don't understand. It might have to do with I'm the floor plan. The yeah. I would think, yeah. Yeah, but it may be that, that we were hitting the here is the floor plan. There's a this is not There's a wall here, and we were going to move it here to make this yeah, right, right, because a little that's more a little generous. This office looks too small. There. Right. Right. So over. I'm guessing that wall it's over the right. doors is there. Of right. the I'm Google. thinking that's what I think he did. It, I like the balance of it. I think it works fine. Yeah. 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 I, I, this is the existing floor plan. I'm certain there's good reasons for it. And I think we, were, we want to move this wall like 
crossed out the existing wall. This wall here is, would be the new wall. And I'm guessing Jay married up the, the, the split in the window yes. with that wall. Yep. Copy of that just for file. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I'm certain Jay is sensitive to what it looks like from the exterior. Right. <coughs> Multiple things, but since mm -hmm. this is all I have to work with, yeah. Give it a little way to make that feel. Yeah. Rhythmic. Well, maybe symmetrical. we the the window on the you know it's funny that that far. Right hand window as you're looking at the building is if you slid that over, that would make it more equal because it's lot, yeah. I see what you're saying. Rather than move the middle one, is move this one that way, right? Or yeah. if you move this one that way, that yeah, way. that makes sense. I think the middle one was lined up on that wall, but I think right. the two outer ones we can make those equidistant if yeah, if you'd like to. <coughs> I feel like that would, yeah, give it a little. Everything mm -hmm. else is pretty well proportioned and sort of stepped on the building down. Right. Yeah. 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 Even if the it's not quite centered, on like the stairwell or something like that on the inside to have it look symmetrical on the outside. An option as long as it fits with the floor. Yeah, as long as it fits with the floor. Okay. Yes. We'll make the windows equidistant. Yeah. As much as possible mm -hmm. based on floor. Yeah. It's a beautiful building. Yeah. Mm, thanks. Uh, and you worked hard to make it. Yes. Yeah. A little more painting to do up there, and a little more roofing and painting, and then the stormer will be done. Yeah. I assume it'll look. Yeah, you you've already redone this roof since this photograph. Yes. Yeah. And so this dormer will have an all asphalt shingled roof to match whatever. To match, yeah. for aesthetic balance if it can be accomplished with a proposed interior floor plan. We'll do it. Yep. Any other comments, questions, suggestions? And there's an alternative depending on what the other windows are. Uh, I'm sure there's a mix of wood. I'm not sure if these were flat or, or wood down below. I think on the front they're wood. They may be clad on the back, but I'm pretty sure they're wood. indicated that the windows will match whatever was put in in, yeah. in the other replacements and or the new section. I can go through the criteria unless anybody has anything else to add before that. Here's a set of criteria. You've been through this before. I'll mm -hmm. just read quickly through that. Yeah. Evaluation criteria, number one, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure. This addition of the adormer is acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, none proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, no change in any lighting or other utilities. Not on the outside, no. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant visitors, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. 
All in favor of the application as proposed, raise your hand. Great. And you can just sign that one right yeah. above my name on the lower oh, left there. Do you have a pen? Yes. Thanks. There should be one under there. Thank you. <laughs> right. Thank so you. Did I, we go to go one over one or six over one? Did it's your option. What's our option? I didn't write oh, it down. Didn't write I didn't it write down. it. You have it you have listed it as a one over one. One over one. Okay. Unless Great. you unless you want the option of doing a six no, over one. No, I think we're one. good with the yeah. one over one. So, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Again, I think the screens on the outside mm -hmm. are usually dark enough that they'll make it more subtle, whichever mm -hmm. way you go. Yeah. Great. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yep. I'm gonna just run downstairs real quick and check and see if I've heard from. Okay. Them. We'll talk amongst ourselves. <laughs> 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 Did anybody else take a look at this color? Whoa! I got Maybe didn't right. I'm hoping bright. that the color is a little darker and a little more subtle, maybe yeah. a little gray in it or something to right. tone it down. Yeah, it's pretty cold. We already have a green one on East State Street that yeah. takes your breath away. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. It somehow didn't look like I just, it was represented. <laughs> It'll probably fade over a couple of years. <laughs> Twenty years. That's too bad because the, it's a nice building, there's yeah. a there's a there's a depth in certain colors that you try to achieve that makes a building look really rich and really mm -hmm. really nice. And that one didn't quite make it. No, no, no. I'm not sure. It's unfortunate. Yeah. And so, I don't know. Some people see that. Some people don't. Some of the better designers. I think people good, don't really yeah. good with colors. People don't realize really what it's going to look like often until they get it up. I think it's pretty hard to go from paint swatch or a chip to. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have to do well, a big Well, they sample. painted samples on did the side samples? of the building and oh, why they, they had oh. people right. thinking that was the one. Right. I would have kept going myself. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she has an actual color swatch, the true color. That one's really not an accurate federal blue. Mm -hmm. Right. Do they give you an actual color name? Chip other no. than that? That and saying it's federal blue. You want an well, actual color? It's good color? that they're here. We'd really like an actual color yeah. chip. Okay, perfect. Because that's a bit bright. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what they were truly attempting. Again, that's a sample color on an entirely different building. Yeah, no, I know. And then they have a white trim. I'm not sure. What's the siding on the building now? Is that a wood siding? I don't think so. It looks like aluminum to me. Know. Or is that aluminum? I am looking at the corners, right. and yeah. there's not a corner board on there. Yeah. Mm. But I also don't read the little aluminum caps in there either. There's no like, you know, like that or trim around the windows either. Well, I was also looking at the corners here yeah. and usually yes, if exactly. it's wood, mm -hmm. and the sometimes, windows these, yeah, yeah. sometimes they will do a miter cut, mm -hmm. but more often than not they do yeah. a corner board. So what kind of siding, what color, confirm the color trim, an actual get an actual color, color chip. chip. On the corner of Bailey and um, just before you go over the bridge and State. Yeah. Oh, okay. State, yeah. Next to the gas station. Right Next on the Paris. riverside. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of an odd view. Has anybody had a chance to look at the minutes from February the fourth? Mm -hmm. I did, and they looked good to me. 
Anybody have anything else to add or change? I was not present. Okay. <laughs> I think it looks good. No apology necessary. <laughs> Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes? I move. Okay. All in favor of approving the minutes, raise your hand. Minutes are approved by four votes. Any other business? Other than the fact the next meeting is Monday, April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a question because I have obviously have too much time on my hands and I was reading our, all of our regulations. Why has the one more time sign not been removed mm -hmm. from that building? It's an abandoned sign. Probably because I have a backlog of sign enforcement that I haven't gotten to. <laughs> you still have Lewinstein's address? Is there anybody? Be, is well, there anybody? The what? It'd yes, the that's the Lewinstein. So, oh, I'm sure it's, not it's, in there. it's not a Jacobs building. Not yet. Not <laughs> yet. I mean, he wants to sell. Lewinstein wants to sell the building, but it needs a lot of work. It's uninsulated, and much of it there's single pane windows. There's a. I'm not sure if the heating system was ever replaced. It was. Uh, the heating system belongs in the Smithsonian. <laughs> And he wanted, last I knew, he, they wanted 1.3, as is. Well, well, just caught my eye. So anyway, but you're right. Yeah, no, it needs to, it needs to come down. I just, there's other signs that have popped up around the city that haven't come from this that I need to yeah. follow up on. So, okay. I'm looking, just been busy. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Thank you. I move to adjourn. Second? All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned. Yeah. That was quick. Look at us go.